we didn't really talk about is Matty Ice going to the Indianapolis ah. Colts. Matt Ryan, uh, no longer an Atlanta Falcon. Marcus Mariota taking over as the Atlanta Falcons quarterback. New regime, all Arthur Smith, all of his guys bring in the new man. Uh, new man of the hour, Marcus Mariota. Hey, well, I'm excited to see what old Mariota does in that uh, that maroon. I guess it's crimson. Yeah, crimson and black. Either crimson way. Black, yeah. Either way, um, looking forward to that. Also... Don't know, like, okay, here's my humble opinion. The Colts literally had to look at Carson and think he was such a liability to himself and the team that they brought in a dude that's got fucking 10 years on him. Like, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any, and like, I hold Chris Ballard as like one of the smartest GMs in the league. Like, the way he operates, the way he moves, the way he looks long term, like, Chris Ballard is a fucking G. I did not understand this move whatsoever. On top of everybody else you had available, and you go after Matty Ice. I know fucking Baker Mayfield has had his issues. He's had the shoulder problems whatsoever, but Matty Ice? I don't know. Call me crazy. I'm not calling you crazy. I uh, as far as yeah, I mean, as far as if you think there was someone else, I, I like the move. As far as nah, I shouldn't even say I like it. I as far as going from Carson to Matt Ryan, I think it uh, takes away. The the oh shit factor of Carson Wentz as far as losing you games because I think that was a lot of the issue this year because he played well certain spots and they I think they what finished nine and eight if I'm not wrong a lot of those games are because uh, Carson Wentz pulled the oh shit handle like you said uh, without having anyone that, with any oh shit <laughs> type of value as in his weaponry you know what I mean so I think I think Matt Ryan still got some of the tank because I, I we were kind of talking yesterday I think he that so bad last year. I I mean I I get it and maybe he that's maybe who he is and maybe he's washed up. I I personally think he was just game. in just the worst possible situation in the last two three years to where he didn't have protection. Especially you lose Julio and then you lose Calvin Ridley. I'm just worried and, about it's going to be the same situation because he's in yet another new scheme. Like he this sure, is his fourth uh, scheme in two years, bro. Sure, or three years, sure. whatever the fuck. Hundred percent. I get it. I get it, and I think I, I I think he was trying to play too much hero ball, which he's not good enough to be the hero. So. Hmm. I think it makes them slightly better if they were a nine win team last year. I think this makes them like a ten win team. It's just a, yeah, it doesn't put them over the hump by any means. I think this puts them in a little stability spot to where they kind of have to rely on some of their defense. Maybe they've got another move up their sleeve to bring in a receiver weapon to give them, but maybe I think this helps them as far as uh, you know potentially winning the division. But if you don't win the division in this spot, there's just so many. The AFC is so loaded, man. It's 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 an interesting move. I I know it seems the way people are talking about Baker. I don't know. Maybe his shoulders not going to be good i don't know because i'm with you as far as i don't i'm not throwing the book out on baker just because of this bad season like you said he, he had a rough shoulder man he's had some success the year or so before that yeah. um so as far as he, he is concerned i tweeted out the other day if it ain't seattle the, the baker's riding the bench somewhere man because carolina said no thanks we're not interested so i don't know i don't know I what's mean, gonna happen with okay baker. so so here's my rationale right like yeah fucking all sucks with baker but kind of sticking with the colts and like the afc south because like okay yeah you you kind of just build off what you said there like if they don't win the division like okay i don't see the fucking texans competing at all now no. like the texans are not competing be bad. fuck that the jags might compete with them dropping bags we'll see what Should year two see but the problem is is i i hate to say i called it but i called it that Trevor Lawrence was going to be yet another number one quarterback that just got swept under the fucking rug and was another fucking bad s- scenario. I'm not saying his, 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 his career's dead yet, but this is his second scheme in two years on his first team when he barely got introduced to any type of culture whatsoever. So he's having to be his own culture maker, his own leader in the room, as well as be a rookie who is now coming in for his sophomore year. Good luck trying to avoid that sophomore slump, T-Law. Like, that's just, that's my humble opinion, right? So I fucking think the Jags kind of struggle, but I think they could make a little noise. They could still do what the fucking did to the Colts. The Colts show up in Duval County into the year, and they smack them in the fucking mouth by 20, and the Colts' season's fucking over because of some dumb shit. That could happen. But also, like, what major moves are the Titans going to make to really elevate them to that next level like they're still going to depend on the king they're still going to depend on aj they're still going to depend on tana thrill they're still going to depend on that o-line like it's going to be pretty fucking consistent that defense will stay pretty much the same so 
if they don't win the division by picking up Matty Ice and saying, oh, the quarterback, uh, the quarterback room has been our problem. That has been our issue. We, we had Philly. We, gotta let, we had to let Philly go. Oh, we brought Carson, Carson in as a Band-Aid. Obviously it didn't work, bringing back the relationship with Reich. If it does not work with Matt Ryan, where the fuck do you go from there with the Colts? You going to Jacob Ellinger? Is that what you're doing? Like, right. fuck, you think, doing? Uh, fuck you doing? Fuck you doing? I think that's a problem, man, because it's it, they're in a spot where, and that's kind of how we talked off the show a little bit. We didn't come to that final conclusion. It's like, I saw someone, it's like, if you're doing this, why not just tear it down? And it's like, I, I like so much of their roster. I, you're not just going to go full rebuild and be a dumpster fire again. Like, why not, you yeah. know, see if you can figure it out on the fly? Because you got a lot of pieces that are going to be here for the next five to ten years. And so I, I assume their plan is to now Speaking bring that, in a new young, what was that? Speaking of that, five to ten oh, years, oh, segue in addition to that, kind because of, I kind of think it builds on what, where you're about to go, what do they do with T.Y.? Like, T.Y.'s played, what, two games of the last three seasons? Like, what do they do right. with T.Y.? Like, he's becoming a disposable asset, and I'm sorry, but oh, Michael yeah. Pittman's not a wide receiver one. So, again, oh, yeah. it just brings me back to my opening point of, I got a lot of respect for Chris Ballard, but what the fuck is the Colts front office doing? Like, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get this at all. I'm not yeah. saying Matty Ice is washed. I'm no. just saying I'm not no. picking him up in fantasy because I think he's going to now all of a sudden have 400 <laughs> yards a fucking game and five touchdowns. I'm just not. I don't yeah. think he chucks the rock more than 15 times a game. Okay. T.Y. Is, uh, T. is a free agent for now. They could bring him back, but he is a free agent at the moment. But you're right. They need some receiving core. I, I th- What their probable plan is is to now probably target a young quarterback somewhere, and you'd rather have him be mentored by Matt Ryan as opposed to Carson Wentz, I imagine. Sure. Whereas, even if you think it's a lateral move from Matt Ryan to Carson Wentz for the next three to four years, I, I don't think they're, unless they were that over the moon about Carson Wentz being their quarterback for the next 10 years, which obviously it isn't, right. probably see this at the bare minimum, a lateral move, and now you have a better mentor for young quarterbacks, I guess would be my my, my opinion on that. Because I think they're just in no man's land to where they can't really build, tear everything down and try and build it all back up. Because if they're doing that, then they might, like, it's just still the quarterback that they need. They're right. not going to be any different situation, right? So. Right. I don't know. They might have something crazy up their sleeves. Otherwise, they think they're going to be a 9-10 win team for the next five years. I, I, dude, I, I, I really, like, I can't agree with more how you close that. Like, what is that something crazy? What is that something crazy? I, I, I don't know, bro, because I, like, I like the receiving core. Cool. But straight Chris Ballard said last year, all oh, fucking Zach Pascal does is, all Zach Pascal does is catch them touchdowns, and well, now his ass is a fucking Philadelphia Eagle. How'd that work out? Like, what? What, what are they doing? What are they doing? Like, what are they doing? It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. I I can't help but think it's just another temporary band aid to like, oh shit, can we win the division and then maybe try and do something, make some noise in right. the AFC postseason, which. If they squeak through and fucking win the yeah, division, that's, that's then the the, then you're just like, oh, you will fucking squeak through and win the division. You feel it feels like my fucking Bears, like hanging on every fucking right. thread. And the next thing you know, fucking uh, Rod, Hot Rod Rodrigo Blankenship hasn't fucking kicked in two fucking years. Every the, the weight of the world on his shoulders, and you got the next double doink. I can see it now, kids. Or, or, or it's you're not just running into the Chiefs up or good. the Bills. <laughs> it's yeah, not shaping up good. The or the Bulls, 100%. Or Bills. 100%. Right. It's not shaping up good for the Indianapolis Colts, and it, it just. It really puzzled me. Now, am I saying they should have stayed with Carson? No. Am I saying I hate Carson? No. But am I saying that he is a quarterback that does not put the team and himself in danger on every single play? No. Every single fucking play, it's I got to play fucking hero ball. And whether that's him getting nuked from behind and breaking both of his ankles on one fucking play or getting away from one of those and throwing the ball up into triple coverage in the middle of the fucking field across his body, it's, 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 it's it. I'm not trying to buy into that as my fucking quarterback no. either. I wouldn't want him on the Bears. Like, that's, no, fine, that's cool. But I just, I, I think there's a lot. If you're telling me you could have got Deshaun Watson before that, I'd have gone to Deshaun Watson. Like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sure. I, well, the Texans wouldn't have wanted. Fuck, I'd have gone Jared trend. Goff. I'd have gone fucking Jared sure. Goff. You got a fucking dome for fuck's sakes. He showed some flash last year. You give him a good fucking quarterback coach and Reich. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm not saying I hate Matty Ice. I but, get it. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Mm. It just doesn't just doesn't get you juiced. No, <laughs> it just no, doesn't get you juiced. No. As far as Baker though, if he, if he done, hasn't gotten like, traded to fuck, Seattle bro? yet, I mean, if it hasn't happened yet, maybe Seattle's just trying to like, make him. It, Maybe Seattle's trying to starve him out so they're at the, to the Browns' asking price goes a little lower. There's and just lower. no way. There's, there's like, 
how has Baker not been signed? Like, there's just no way, dude. Like, the fact that the Browns went after Deshaun, signed him, said, see you later, Baker. Here's your bags. Go ahead and hit the road after all of these commercials, everything you've done for it. See you later, dude. I know. Like, not, like, he still had another year on his deal. Like, like they, they just packed his bags for him and said, get the fuck out. Like, they yeah. took the keys of the dog pound out of his yeah. hand and said, see you later, pal. Find another team. And there ain't no other team coming and knocking. And, I mean... I suppose I'm not going after, I sup okay, it's fantasy football, but put myself as a GM, I'm not overly enthralled on the fact that once Tom Brady goes the fuck out that he's my QB too. Once Tom Brady is fucking done for real, or if Tom Brady gets hurt this year, I'm not like, oh shit, I got Baker, like that's going to be solid. Like, he leads the league in fourth quarter touchdowns over the last two years, like, he has no clutch gene in his body. I don't know where it went. He had it in fucking Oklahoma when he was Boomer Sooner and fucking pounding flagpoles into the fucking middle of the field. He had it. He had no more. I don't know where it went. I don't know if he's scared to get hit. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But he can't chuck the rock. He 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 can't make decisions. Even on like the read options and stuff, he's he, he looks confused there. Like I don't know, man. I don't know either. I think he's. Uh, and you're like telling he said, me unless unless because Seattle's not going to want to pay like a, a premium for the fucking guy. They'll 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 dish out a fucking sixth seventh rounder or something. But but uh, but you're telling me that they would rather fucking trade. bank their fucking season in the NFC West on Drew no. Locke over Baker Mayfield. No. Like I don't know that's what the what fuck just, they're trying to do. That's, that's what just makes no sense to me. me, dude. And like if if not Baker, who like Baker is the guy that everybody says you don't need him to throw more than fifteen times a game. Have him turn around and like, hand fucking powers and dives all day. Doesn't long. doesn't just shouldn't Pete Carroll be coming his pants uh, when you say kind something of like <laughs> what I'm thinking? That's what I was like. like kind of my last statement right there was like I yes, a hundred and fifty percent. Which dude, we like, both I, agree that that's asinine, and you they should have changed their next the five years long time, around though. Russell Wilson as opposed to Pete Carroll. But, I mean, that's, oh, and boy, that's oh boy, right does, up Pete Carroll's alley. Yeah, 150, and boy, does Russ, it's a quick sidebar, does Russ look good in that uh, that <laughs> navy and orange? Oh, he's oh, he's out there balling. Dude, already I cannot wait for the AFC West, dude. Oh, my gosh. The Broncos oh are going to be contenders, bro. The Broncos are going to be contenders. It, or like, they could be the fourth best team in the division, and that they could still win. And they could still win some shit. Like, the AFC West <laughs> could be what the NFC West was last right. year. Like, bro. 